going to show you the correct opening procedure for a cub camper. Firstly, you selected your campsite. Try and get the camper as level as you can. It doesn't have to be dead level. Near enough is good enough. Okay? Ensure you've got the handbrake on, making sure the camper doesn't roll away. Once you've got the camper fairly level, wind down the drawbar by six turns. Around to the back and we drop our stabiliser legs. Put the handle in. Wind them down till they're firm. Do this on both sides. Just double check the camp is still fairly level. Come back to the front and wind up the six turns that you took off before. On the rear hatch, simply grab the spring, pull it off the catch and release it. This opens the rear hatch. It is important on the 2.5 and 3.0 series campers. That is the Traveller, the Escape, the Swagman, the Overlander and the Drover to release the springs on the rear hatch before you open the camper up. On the 3.2 series, that is the Outback, Longreach and Kakadu, it's important to leave the springs attached. Then we undo the latches all the way around. Next step is to unwind the roof. Before you do that, double check that there's no overhead power lines or tree branches that might foul the camper when it's opening up. Unwind the winch. until you see the stop mark written on there. On models that have got a roller at the front, take the strap out from behind the roller. Then walk alongside and give the camper a push up. At this point, it's important to pull the canvas away from around the hinge points. Come back to the front, wind the strap all the way now until the hard floor reaches the ground. Once the floor has come down, we walk around and adjust the feet. And we go around the camper and put all the bungee loops on the side.
Once you've done that, it's time to step inside the camper and push out the rear bar. Once inside the camper, it's important to zip the door up. This will ensure the correct setting of the tent. The next step is to push the rear bow out. Undo the catch on the right hand side and the left hand side and push the rear bow up and out locking in on the driver's side come across to the slide bar undo the slide bracket push it up until it hits the stop lock that into place lock the slide bar adjuster and the last step is to put your corner poles in one on the left hand side, push up and lock into place. And the same on this side. Now you'll see the zipper works perfectly.